you will hear us. We first spoke out on the issue of him raising taxes. Some of those just went into effect last weekend. But he didn't hear us then, even though we mobbed the State House several days in a row. He told us that the only policies that he heard were his. If he heard any other idea, you know, if there were any other ideas out there, he'd be welcome to hear them, but he didn't hear any others. So we went to his barber, Ernie, and Ernie told us, raise the taxes, I'm okay with that. The next thing he's done now is he's gone to a group of people whose first decision was to enter the country illegally. And he asked them, what can I do for you to make your lives better? I bet you would like him to come to you and your place of business and ask you what he could do to make your life better. This is the state that's the worst of the 50 for business. But no, he went to a community here illegally and said, what can I give you? And they're like, well, you are giving us the right to work because you're ripping up the E-Verify uh, executive order from Governor Kachiri. So, I don't know, how about letting our kids go to school? They already go to school for free, K through 12. How about giving us in-state tuition? The governor says, done. And they said, it hasn't gotten through the General Assembly. And basically, what did this governor say? We don't need no stinking General Assembly. No, the General Assembly. We can just, let me just appoint a board of my buddies. Isn't that cronyism? Yeah. Wasn't this governor against cronyism? Yeah. A, B, C, cronyism and corruption. Yeah. This is the biggest example of cronyism I've seen. Yes. With 12 people out of the 13 on a board, hide behind them, have them push your policies in a sham of a committee meeting last week where they had no intention of answering their questions and had already made up their mind. So the governor says, in-state tuition, you got it. What else? Do you blame them? How about giving us driver's licenses? He acknowledges they're already working. Now we're going to give them driver's licenses. Please keep this governor away from the ACI. I don't want him going in there to rapists and murderers and, and child molesters and asking them what they want. Let me tell you, five examples here of people that I have heard, and some of them are here today. One is a family in Tiverton. The guy works in the trades. He has two kids in college, and he's barely making it because his boss has to compete with contractors that hire an illegal workforce. And every year he has seen his income and his jobs go down. He is trying to afford college for his two kids. Where's his tax break? The second one, a woman that emailed me and said, I've got a nephew with Down syndrome, and they're cutting back on services for disabled yeah. adults yeah. and giving the money <laughs> to a group of people who came here illegally. She also has a daughter-in-law who came from Peru the right way and paid a lot of money and spent a lot of time to do that. The third Rhode Island citizen, a guy that's been working and trying to afford college, but he can't. So in the meantime, he works and then saves money to go to school. This summer he was working in the restaurant business and he was working with people with college degrees because there are no jobs. And now we're gonna import more people to take more jobs. At first they were taking menial labor jobs from people that are low income. Now the governor wants to make sure they get college degrees so they can take even better jobs. <laughs> Maybe we can give them an $88,000 year job here yeah. in Again, he did it the right way. He came here legally. He is a struggling business owner. Do you think Governor Chafee has gone and asked him, what can I do for you to make your life easier? No. 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 Fifth example, my own daughter. She graduated from college. She went to the headhunters with her degree. They suggested Boston, New York, or D.C. They said, forget Rhode Island. There are no jobs. Where is this governor for the tax-paying citizens and the legal immigrants? He is not listening. I hoped he would, so I wore a white rose today because I heard that was admission to get in to see the governor. 